This is boot camp. This is army training. This is serious. If you want to be a Twin Peaks girl, listen up. Because this is serious. Like, and I'm not exaggerating. This shit is crucial. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Maya J or Maya Janae, whatever. Um, today, I'm going to be telling y'all how to get a job at Twin Peaks, like how to get the job. And then I'm going to tell y'all what happens after you get the job. So like the hiring process and like what you got to do, etc. So um, to get hired, for one, all you got to do is just really call up there and ask like, hey, are y'all hiring for servers or bartenders, whatever you want to do. And they're nine times out of ten going to say yes, because places always be hiring, honestly. I don't know. Mine was. And you want to fill out an application online. And honestly, me, I like to show my face. And you can use this tip with any job like don't wait for them to call you especially like a place like serving like i'm pretty sure it's a lot of people applying and waiting for a call back baby you need to let them know you want the job so i asked them hey is y'all hiring they said yes boop, boop, boop. put the application in that day they see me that day yeah so i put the application in in the morning and then i pulled up to twin peaks at like 2 p.m and i was like hey i walked up in there first of all I was fine, like, I came up in there cute. Don't come up in there with no sweatpants, no, don't do that. Looking for a job where you gotta, don't do that. So, I was like, I went off in there cute, and I was just like, hey, where's the manager? I would like to speak to them about um, a job here. So they gave me the manager, well, the manager came to me, and I was like, hey, my name is Tamaya, and I'm just letting you know that I put in the application, I was wondering, like, how do we further the hiring process? And they was like, oh, well, it was nice of you to come up here and show your face. Um, you can come in for an interview on Monday. And that was just like a day or so later, I don't remember. But, um, okay, Monday come she gave me a hint she was just like you look cute like but make sure you come to your interview like with your makeup done and don't have your hair up in a ponytail and like that which i'm glad she gave me that hint i was gonna come cute anyway but still some people don't know that so basically um yes i got the interview and then there was a second interview that i had to go to but we'll get there so when you're going there either if you're going to show your face or if they call you in for an interview make sure you have your makeup done make sure every single time that you go up there you have your makeup done even when you get the job you're gonna have to do your makeup every day so that kind of gives you like a hint right there do your makeup like go there with your makeup done um to the interview go cute and about your hair they are strict on hair as far as like how they want it to look or i don't know their idea of it they don't want you to have no half up half downs they don't want you to have no like buns no ponytails nothing like that so make sure you're wearing your hair down and it's done like you know like yeah no ponytails no half up half downs no buns because i've seen this really pretty girl like i've seen three girls try to get the job after i was already like training and stuff and it was this really pretty girl and they didn't even hire her and guess what she had she had a half up half down curly they said no ma'am like they sent her home they didn't even like they didn't even finish the interview they just okay thank you you can leave and she i never seen her again but they hired the not so pretty girl um because she came with her makeup done and she had like some type of wig on it wasn't the best but sis did what she needed to do to get the job so you don't have to be the prettiest like just follow and you know do the requirements that they want and you'll get the job so um what else so all right i got through the first interview which was just talking to the manager and letting them know who i was letting them know my availability i just told them i'm free every day like I'm ready to work. I just made them like, you know, I'm eager to work. Put me on schedule. So they um they was like, Yeah, okay. We like you, we like your energy. Can you come back tomorrow for a second interview? And I was just like, in my head, I'm like, second interview, like, this is doing too much. This is just a serving job. But anyway, um, 
I came, the second interview was just me talking to a different person and then they want, they will, they will, why am I stuttering? They want you to put on the uniform and show them and see if you're comfortable in that because some girls are not comfortable wearing a two piece and some booty shorts and stuff like that. Like some people are not comfortable with that. So they make you put it on. They ask you if you're comfortable. You're gonna say yes if you are. And then you know, they're gonna be like, okay, you can change. And then they're gonna send you home. Like that's the second interview, literally. So um, they sent me home and they told me, okay, you can come back on Monday, which is orientation. I did orientation by myself, but Monday is orientation. And they were like, come um, with the snow boots. Cause you like come in most of the attire and they're gonna give you a shirt basically. So um, Monday I came in my shorts and some socks and some snow boots I got from Walmart and a basic black belt that y'all see me wear. Like I don't have all of the spicy belts and all that stuff yet because baby, I'm not gonna spend too all this money trying to look the part when I'm still, you know? Anyway, I came in my half attire, they gave me a shirt did my makeup everything thinking i'm finna get on the flow or something no the first day it was on the computer and i was looking at videos and filling out them online question things you know what i'm talking about like the documents and stuff like that. i was doing that for like three four hours like yeah orientation is literally just you going there being cute but not doing anything you're just gonna be doing online work listening to boring videos and it's just that's what you got to do on orientation the first day second day um they give you a book like you'll have a booklet from orientation that you have to complete and it's a five-day thing this is like your training is starting on day two basically so first day is orientation um just straight online work second third and fourth day you're gonna be training like with a with the Twin Peaks girl. So there was orientation and there was day two, three, and four. These three days I was following a different Twin Peaks girl around all day, like damn near being her little puppy or a sidekick. Like I was following her. She would of course teach me like just as she's working and I would help her run food and drinks and do all of this. And they pay you for that. Like, of course you can't take tables and make money, but they pay you like minimum wage, which is like $7 where I live. And so they, they was paying me $7 an hour while I'm watching her make 300 or whatever she was making, you know? Um, so day one, you doing paperwork. Uh, first of all, every day you're gonna be doing paperwork until day five, you're gonna be done. But you're gonna be doing more paperwork, more book work um, for the next three days on top of being somebody's sidekick. Like, it really made me feel like, like I said in my other video, it made me feel like I was like auditioning for to be in a sorority or something like that because I'm being somebody's sidekick. I gotta do all this. I'm not making no money. Y'all want me to come make up hair and I'm not even making... It just made me feel like, what am I doing? Like, is this even worth it? You know, but I knew it was going to be worth it because all the girls, everybody else had to go through it. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just suck it up and I'm going to do it. So day three, um, okay. Day two, three, and four, you're going to be learning different um, sections of the menu as far as liquors, beers, like it's, I'm not going to lie. It's a very rigorous training. This is the deepest detailed training I have ever experienced in my whole life of working any job. Like the thing is, I can exaggerate all day, but y'all not going to feel it for real unless you actually go through that stuff. Like it's a lot. I ain't going to lie. During the whole time I was training, which was that full week, five days, six days, I was on autopilot because I'm just like, at first I was like, how the hell am I going to get through this? Like, making no money. You have to stay there a full shift, like from 4 o'clock to 12 a.m. or 1 a.m. if it's on the weekend. And you're not making no money. you just there. Like, 
I ain't gonna lie, that was something. So basically to sum up day two, three, and four, because I don't want to just break it down. Like if you actually go through the training, you'll eventually see. I'm just giving y'all an overview. You're gonna have to like memorize things because you have a test at the end. So day two, three, and four, you're learning the menu and you're following the girl. That's basically it. But it's like, it's more than what I'm saying. It's like, just, just you'll see for yourself. I'm just trying to help you out a little bit. So day five is going to be your mock. So this is a mock is like you're going to have a table full of managers or however many managers that they give you. I don't know. It's different for everybody. But you're going to have a table of managers and they're going to be guests at Twin Peaks, your table. And you have to follow all of the steps and knock it out and ace the mock and do it good. And then you'll be hired. But if you don't pass the mock, yeah, you're going to probably have to do it again and or like go through training again. I don't know because I passed, but they made it seem like you want to pass this mock or you're going to be pissed because of course you want to pass it so you can work. So um, I took a table of two managers and one of them was a good cop and one of them was a bad cop. Like they, of course, like, you know, the bad one is like messing with you basically and so i did good like i held my own i was a little nervous because i almost messed up but i i held it down you know <laughs> so i passed my mock and it was like well you passed congrats like you know whatever um by this time i already have like the buffalo plaid um twin peaks girl sure i already have that so they was like well you can come tomorrow if you want to work and make some money like which was the next day which was day six in a row Y'all want me to work tomorrow after this long ass week of training? I say, you know what? I'm gonna go. First of all, I'm not gonna say no. I need them to know like I'm ready to work. I was just, I, 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 honestly, at them asking me if I wanted to work the next day, I was like, you know what? It's time to make some money. Like, forget how tired I am. I'm going to push and I'm going to go. So on your sixth day, they might ask you if you want to work. Or they might ask you if you want to work that day that you do your mock, depending on what time of day it is and however your Twin Peaks is. But I work the next day and they give you, they gave me two tables. Like, they're not going to give you a full section, like a four or five, six tables. They're gonna, they gave me two tables. So I could like practice and get the hang of it. So I took those tables. Um, I went on my sixth day. Five was cute. I was energized because I'm like, baby, I can start making my money. Like, you know, so my first table that I got, they took me $20. And I was like, you know, I got this. <laughs> I was like, I got this. So yeah. And then after day six, I had a break and I had to come back to my city to get some more of my stuff. Um like some more stuff because I just moved um and so came back in town and they put me on the schedule and now I'm a Twin Peaks girl yep so hopefully this video was helpful and it gave you some insight but just I'm trying to tell you I cannot stress this enough that training is is a lot like you're gonna be tired and you're gonna be questioning if if it's even worth it so good luck to those of y'all who go out and try to be a Twin Peaks girl. I think it's worth it. I think it's fun. It's a nice environment and it just fits my personality, honestly. If you on my channel or you got my social media, you know me. So I feel like this is like, this is something good for me. It's cool. So yeah. That's really all I gotta say. Let me think. Do I have anything else that I'm leaving out? Yeah, we have dress up and stuff like that. Um, Y'all will probably see this, uh, like the dress up Christmas video on my channel in a minute. Um, but they have dress up days, like lingerie days and things like that, where you do, like, you can wear lingerie and little outfits and things. But at my Twin Peaks, it's not required for you to do that on those days. You can just wear the regular uniform, but it's like, let's be real here. If everybody else is wearing lingerie and you got on this the regular outfit it's like what are you doing like you know you want to i don't know i say don't work there unless you actually are gonna like partake in the dress up days because that's like the whole point it's cute but that's just my opinion because i of course i'm gonna dress up but um yeah what else am i leaving out nothing really just come be yourself and 
make sure you follow those tips that I gave you earlier for the interview part. After you get the interview, you just gotta make sure you put your all into that training and you in the dough. So yeah, again, I hope this video was helpful. Make sure if you're new here, you like, comment if you wanna talk to your girl and subscribe, of course. Um, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. And... Stay tuned for my dress up video. We um, always dress in like Santa's helpers and stuff like that. I'ma post that before Christmas or by Christmas or whatever. It's so cute. Like y'all, we, I ain't gonna lie. Everybody in there was so cute. So that's why I say you want, you want to partake in the dress up stuff. But anyway, all right, I'm about to go. Y'all have a nice day, have a nice night and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.